Yo guys, Flux 100 here. Gonna be going over my game pickups from August 2016. Uh, let's just get started. 3DS games, only one. Castlevania, Lords of Shadow, Mirror Fate. Now this is a game that's between Lords of Shadow and Lords of Shadow 2. Um, I have a friend who, at work, who has been getting me into these games more. And I actually have uh, Lords of Shadow as well, which I will show later. Um, but... I ended up getting Mirror of Fate, and yeah, I mean, I've, I've played a little bit of it. It's not that bad. I kind of like it. Uh, of course, I want to play Lords of Shadow first, because I don't want to go into the middle game, because, yeah. Uh, DS games, two. First one I actually did an unboxing for, and that is uh, Digimon Cross Wars Blue. This is a Japanese import game. Uh, did it, Like I said, I did an unboxing. The game... I wanted the other version just because, I mean, you know, it's kind of one of those things. Plus, it was like $9 for it, so I wouldn't pass that up. Uh, not playing right now. I'm playing, you know, I'm playing Red because that's the one I started. And I want to continue playing. I may eventually go back and start Blue after Red, whenever I do eventually beat that. Um, Radiant Historia. Uh... This game is so far freaking amazing. I love that you have so many options to go through as far as, uh, you know, like which path you take. I think that's an awesome thing because, you know, you can do, you can take one path and completely screw up and then you can just go back and redo it and, you know, you can experiment and have some fun with it. I think it's an awesome thing. I, uh, have been really happy about this game for a long time. I've been wanting it, and uh, yeah, uh, me and Crusaders actually were doing a game exchange thing, and this was part of the game exchange. PS4 games, there are three. No Man's Sky. Of course, you know, I did an unboxing for this. There's a lot of uh, controversy over this game because, you know, apparently the developers and whatnot on the team uh, said, you know, this is going to be here, this is going to be it, this is going to be it, and it wasn't. Now, I've heard a lot of bad things, um, but me, myself, I think it's a good game. I like it. I like exploring the, uh, planets. I know they look similar. I know that, um, that's one thing I don't like, but I still enjoy it for myself. I like doing all the waypoints. That's interesting and fun for me. Um, now, one thing that I feel like this game is, I feel like whenever it came out, it was more like a beta version. You know, we're slowly getting more stuff, and we'll eventually get more stuff as the time goes on with updates. And I'm hoping that, you know, like a year from now, it's going to be this great, amazing game that everyone gets back into. Um, maybe, maybe not. You know, it's one of those things. I know a lot of people are probably, uh, if they see this and hear me talk this way, they're probably going to say, no, the game really sucks. It's this and the other and I'm sorry I really don't care I think the game's good personally I like it Knights of Azur now this is a game that uh, actually talked to uh, Bio Phoenix about and I I don't know I've been th I had been thinking about getting it like I just kind of started wondering about it and then the price kept dropping for like 47 to 30 something and then it finally dropped to like 20 23 something with a pro so you know I was like yeah I gotta get this thing now and honestly the game is amazing I really love playing um it's very addictive the different the story is really fun um between Arnus and uh Elise I like the fact that you have so many like familiars you can summon uh are they actually called familiars I don't think they are um Maybe it is familiar. I can't remember now. But I think it's a great JRPG that should definitely not be overlooked. And the last PS4 game is a digital one, and that is Daylight. I had been really wanting to look at this game for a while. It's a horror game. It was uh, originally $14.99, but I snagged it for $3.74 three three or something. It was on sale, you know? And it's one of those, oh shit, it's actually on sale now, I should totally absolutely get this. And I did, and I play, I've played some of it, I really like it. I think it's, uh, I think it's gonna live up to my height. Uh, I am stuck, but you know, hopefully I'll be able to get unstuck soon. 
one PS2 game, and this is also part of the game exchange that me and Crusaders did, and that is Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. He really loved this game back in the day. Well, not back in the day, sorry, it hasn't been that long ago. Uh, well, I don't know, I feel like it's been a year ago or something. But he really, really enjoyed the game. So, this is one of the ones that he was like, yeah, you have to play this. And he got it. And I've played some of it. I really, I like, I love the setup of the game. I think it looks really gorgeous. Uh, graphics look great. Uh, you know, PS2 game. PS, some PS2 games have some really nice graphics. And Nocturne is definitely one of them. I definitely want to get into it more. Because Nocturne looks amazing. And it is something I've been looking at for a while. And it's relatively cheap to get. So, um, next up are three Xbox games. Well, one's an Xbox slash Xbox 360. I say that because it is Pocket Bike Racer, which is a Burger King game. For any of you who don't know, uh, Burger King had three games, uh, Pocket Bike Racer, Big Bumpin', and Snake King. Still looking for the other two. I have seen them before, but I didn't really want to get them at the, mo at the time. I know I can get them, like, new from Amazon for, like, $9, so, you know, that may be something I eventually do, I don't know. I do want them, because they are cool. Uh, Pocket Bike Racer, you are actually riding on a motorcycle, and, you know, it's a racing game. I do really enjoy it, though. I think it's, uh, pretty interesting. And, uh, yeah. Blue Dragon. Blue Dragon is an anime game, uh, based off the anime, which I never actually watched the anime, but... Go, you know, go figure. Uh, it's one of those games that, I don't know, it just seems really interesting. I kept my eye on it for a while, at, you know, 11 something dollars. It's actually three discs. So, you know, that's... That's pretty neat. Uh, I've played a little bit. Seems pretty awesome. Seems like, you know, basic JRPG stuff. With the turn bat or turn base and whatnot, haven't really got to like the whole bat like uh, spirit powers or whatever you know, with the elemental things like where his has the dragon and whatnot. I haven't really got into that whole mess yet, but I definitely do like the look of it. I will uh, it will be something that I look into later. Um, last Xbox game, Xbox Live Arcade Arcade Unplugged. Now this is one of those like compilation games. Uh, this one has six games: um, Bejeweled 2, Geometry Dash, Retro Evolved, uh, Wick, Fable of Souls, Texas Hold'em Poker, Outpost, Koloki X, and Hardwood uh, Bak Bak Bakum. I don't know, something like that. Now, I haven't really played a whole lot of this, you know, I kind of just, it was one of those random finds because I don't see these things actually. I don't see them very often in my area, so of course, you know, I see one I want to jump on it because, well, of course, I want to get it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wii games, something I've been looking for for a while, and that is Trauma Center Second Opinion. No original case or booklet just the game but that's fine by me because hey now I haven't really touched it since I got it it was it was something I want to get into later um, so a lot of these games I haven't actually really touched a whole lot of just because I've, I'm playing so much and I haven't really had the time to sit down and enjoy anything for you know like really really enjoy something um work and everything and after work I've been really tired and just you know Obviously because it's taking me so long to get these videos out. Sorry about that. But, yeah. Uh, I, okay, I'm going to show a game that I actually have already gotten. But I re-got, I re, re it because, re-got, oh my god. But I re it because it was a dollar. And that is Destroy All Humans, Big Billy Unleashed. I got it again because, one, it's a dollar, two, it was complete. The one I got did not have the case or booklet. And, you know, honestly, I may have been able to get the case for free, but there was no reason to cause a fuss over it. So, yeah, I just kind of rebought the game. I really do enjoy the Destroy All Human series. I think it's pretty interesting, and uh, playing, you know, playing as an alien, 
I don't know. But what, what do you say about that? I, I like the series. Um, I actually need to get the other games because I used to play them, like rent them, rent them, but I haven't actually owned them. Uh, Path of Furon is a very interesting looking game. I haven't really touched that one at all before, so that should be new ground for me, and that's going to be fun. Moving on to the PS3 games, and this is the last section. There are six of these. I uh, got something that I was really looking for, and that is Mugen Souls on the PS3. Mugen Souls is an interesting little JRPG uh, published by NIS America, which also did games like Disca, um, Criminal Girls. Uh, sorry, there's something else they do, but I can't remember what it is. There's something, some other uh, JRPG that they publish. But, well, actually, they publish a lot. They're really good on publishing game, games over here in America. I love that because, obviously, you know, we'd be missing out on a lot of awesome games that they did not publish. Uh, you, uh, basically, you're trying to take over the world, generally. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's basically all I can tell you. You're trying to take over the world. I'm trying to sort these out so they're not just like stacked on top of each other. Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I only got the uh, disc, but that's okay for now. I can deal with that for now. Uh, obviously, I haven't really touched it. Uh, played. I think I put like two hours into it like years and years ago. Don't really remember a whole, whole lot about it. But I do look forward to playing it, and I may. And I need to play it soon because my friend at work is going to get really mad if I don't. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. Now, I haven't really played this. Uh, not, I don't really know if I'm a Metal Gear Solid, Solid fan or not. It's just one of those, uh, it was a dollar. And you know, I kind of want to just give the series a test, like, you know, like try it out for myself, so why not? Uh, now, with that said, I haven't actually played it, but I do want to try it out. Tales of Xelia. Uh, got into this because a friend at GameStop, we were talking and she was like getting really excited talking about them. And I couldn't help myself from getting getting it because it was there. Uh, I've played Tales of Zelia a little bit in the past, but I don't remember a whole heck of a lot about it. I chose to play as the girl. I um, can't remember. How was that? Melia. Melia. I was right. I was thinking it was Melia, but I didn't want to just say it. But, I chose to play as Melia because, I don't know, I don't know, just kind of one of those things, you know? I was like playing as a female, what can I say? But, battle system seems pretty nice, uh, you know, something I'm used to, and, yeah. I want to get more into Zelia later. I have actually started, uh, Dawn of the New World on the PS3. Because I got Tales of Symphonia uh, Chronicles. Now, with that, you know, I've had a lot of people be like, why didn't you start the first game? And I kind of already started Dawn of the New World on the Wii, so I kind of just wanted to get into it on the PS3. I don't know, just one of those things, I guess, for me. I will definitely go back and play the game. I mean, most definitely. But, yeah, just one of those things for now. And the last game I want to show is something else that I have been looking for, and that is Folklore. Folklore is a very dark JRPG. You have you have to pick between two characters. The uh, and let me see if I can just find the names. No, I can't. But you can uh, you can actually collect the monsters' powers. You go over like seven seven different realms and. Honestly, the game just looks really badass. I've heard good things about it, and it's something I've been wanting to pick up ever since I got a PS3, honestly. Because I, I don't know, for some reason it just drew me in. And I'm very glad to own it now, even though it's been several years ago since I've been wanting it. But, I'm, I'm happy that I finally get to have it in my collection. So, uh, yeah. So, you guys should, like, definitely comment and tell me what you guys have been collecting. I'd love to hear about it from you uh if you have you know i'll take some game recommendations if you want to i love that 
Um, yeah. So, anywho, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share my video. It does help me out as a small YouTuber. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.